Hello, I'd like to show to you some advancements in Codename One Maker with specifics to GUI building and plugins. So let's start by creating a new GUI builder application using our new form builder tool. As you can see, we can actually drag and drop components into place and they instantly appear in place. We can rearrange them, we can edit them in a tree we can uh, rename the labels we can do all sorts of stuff we have properties and everything this is a very preliminary product but it's really cool now once we have this component in place we can also besides editing the name also define some default actions such as currently the ability to submit an http form uh, to post, to get, or send by email the content of the form, or navigate to a different form, which is, which is what we'll pick right now. We only have the about form other than this, so that is the only option. But as you can see, it's already pretty functional relatively for this new product, and it shows the great potential of building an application on the actual device. Now, soon we're going to go and see this previewed live on the device and I remind you this is my actual iPad reco recorded over the network so there's there might be some artifacts related to that but as you can see the application actually works now let's show the second feature I want to show to you today which is plugin installs uh, you can learn more about plugin installs by going to the blog but here you can see I just entered the HTTP URL for the plugin descriptor more about that in the blog on how you actually build such descriptors. And the plugin is, is effectively installed into the system. Now, a plugin is really a Codename One library, so it can include any sort of Java code as well as native code. But you won't be able to preview the, that on the device because of limitations of the device. Now, the plugin is installed, and you can see on the bottom the plugin is a Twitter plugin, which essentially shows you your tweets. So now I can just go add a feature, select uh, my tweets, which is the new plugin I installed. And this plugin will now appear and it will ask me for my, uh, my values, the, essentially my Twitter handle. Uh, I left the default, but as you can see, I can't preview the actual plugin. So let's leave the application and see the application I built earlier, just so we won't have to wait. And as you can see, the plugin is now functional and you can actually see my Twitter feed right there and even click an entry within Twitter and see the value. So thanks for watching and I hope you'll go to the blog and learn more about how uh, this, these great new features actually work. Thanks again.